Welkom in de laatste show met Sabine Appelmans en Frida van Wijk. Goedenavond en goedenavond, Sabine. Goedenavond, Frida. Het is onze laatste avond samen. Ja. Jammer. Maar dan komt wel een meesterverleider. Ah, ik ben benieuwd. <laughs> ik ook. Laten we er meteen aan beginnen. If I were to describe what I'm trying to do in one sentence, I would probably say, I teach men that women are beautiful. Zijn Perion leert mannen hoe ze om het even welke vrouw kunnen versieren. De nieuwe tournee van Natalia is een ware triomftocht. En Oscar van den Boogaard heeft een handleiding geschreven voor de betere shopper. Sure, you, you could chat for a woman, right? Yes, if I wanted to, yeah. Go on then. I don't want it. We've both done it. Go on, this one coming out. Go on. Mm, go on. No, no, no. 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 <laughs> Hi. Hi, do you know what uh, time we finished tonight? I don't know, about ten-ish, I think. Ten, eh? Hey? Go on. Losers aller landen verheug u, want onze volgende gast maakt van elke man een meesterverleider. Dames en heren, hier is Zan Perrion. Good evening, Mr. Perrion. Hello. Uh, this weekend you're having a workshop in Brussels. You're giving a workshop in I'm Brussels. I'm doing two workshops in Brussels. I'm doing uh, a workshop on Friday evening, which is tomorrow, uh, for women only. And then I'm doing one for uh, men on Saturday, a full day event on Saturday. Ah, okay. Let's talk about a full day event first. Okay. Uh, that's for men. What does it consist of? Well, you know, it's like men today have lost their way in that they don't know how to uh, stand on the earth and be confident and approach women and, and uh, they don't know what to do in their relationships. So the whole thing is about how we connect uh, and how we can connect in a better, more real way. That's the whole workshop. Mm -hmm. And who, en who enrolls in these workshops? How desperate, what degree of desperation do they have to have reached to enroll in your workshop? You know, it's interesting because you think that you'd get a bunch of desperate type of guys, but you get guys that are completely normal and you wonder, you know, how does this guy have any trouble at all? And um, they come and they want a change. They want some kind of shift in their life to uh, be more dynamic, more interesting to women. So it's, it's really good, sincere guys that are coming. It's like uh, to, the, to the workshops. And they're not just from here. They're coming from all over Europe. Yeah, for the how workshop on Saturday. How much do they pay to uh, follow your workshop? This workshop is uh, 1,500 euros. For so one day? Well, actually, it's a one day now, and it's a 90-day program that they're going to start and, and journey together. And at the end of it, I come back to Brussels, and I do another full day. So it's really two days the course. with a 90-day of uh, mm -hmm. interaction and all kinds of interesting things in between. So it's and a 90-day program. And lasts a whole lifetime. You know, it lasts a whole lifetime. Yeah. That's correct. So you that help on give, Mr. Peters? The cursus nee, verleiden? Niet direct. <laughs> It's a little bit expensive, uh, but fine. Oh, yeah. When you have results, I understand that it's very important. <laughs> well, you know, we'll, we'll, as men, we spend so much money to buy a nice giant TV, hoping that a, a, maybe a girl will ever come over to our house and see it and like us. Mm -hmm. yeah, but if you attract too many women, it gets complicated, your life. Well, you know. <laughs> you, you just need one. It's also expensive. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So but men spend so much money on this kind of thing anyway. So to shift your life to spend that investment on yourself for once. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a lifelong education. Okay, Zen, I want to see this with my own eyes. Three women here, which oh. one of us do you want to seduce? Well, which one? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> um, you know... Um, Try me, I'm the presenter. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if I was trying to... Uh, okay, the, the word seduce, you know, has a connotation, but I think it's what we're missing in our marriages, in our relationships, we don't seduce our wives anymore. Mm -hmm. We don't, uh, and, and we're missing that in our interactions. And so if I was on a date with you, yeah. are you kidding? It'd be great, because I would be... I um, betcha. <laughs> <laughs> I would be extremely 
uh, curious about who you are. That's the trick. That's the only yeah. thing. Yeah. It's like, like normally a guy would be on a date, I'm <laughs> trying to be impressive to you, so I'll tell you basically my resume. I did this, I climbed this mountain, I, you know, I work here, etc. Here's me, here's the car I drive. But the trick is to be absolutely engaged and listening and curious about this incredible woman who's sitting across from you. I mm -hmm. think we totally agree. Because men, they only like to talk about themselves. Exactly. So, yeah. And yeah. you know, I... I it's I, working already. You were working on me. And <laughs> <laughs> you, I don't know. But Frida, you, you are a professional interviewer. You must have success all the time, no? I do, I do, yes. Sam, <laughs> 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 on your instruction DVD, it says the first thing to do is to touch a woman. Where would you touch a woman on a first date? <laughs> no, you know what it is? It's... We go on dates. Mm -hmm. and, and we sit like this, and we're driving the car, we go get popcorn, we go to the movie, we, we come home, and we're afraid to show that we, are, uh, that we are masculine. And so we're afraid to offend her by, you know, by touching her in any way. So if I was on a date with, with her, I, the first thing I'd be doing is like, I would be talking like this, in a very non-obtrusive, but a very um, engaging way. So guys say all the time, well, I'm always in the friend mm -hmm. zone, I'm always the friend. He's a nice guy, but... Yeah. It's because we're afraid to offend by saying, so tell me something interesting about you. I know that you are, uh, you're, you're very beautiful, you've been complimented many times. Tell me something interesting about you. And, and the hand is not noticed because it's, not, it's, it's who you are. Mm -hmm. It's like, uh, so we don't break that. It's subtle. subtle. It's so subtle and it's yeah. so respectful. Yeah. And you would, you would pick that up immediately. Yeah. But it'd be no but, different than, than me and him and I'd say, let's go look at those girls over there. He wouldn't even notice my hand. It's just a—it's <laughs> <laughs> it's just a, a way yes. of being uh, flowing into this world and, and putting yourself into this world. Yeah, but Sam, to teach other men, you need a certain authority. So, what do you have to show for yourself? How many women have you had? Oh man, it's <laughs> um, like more than hundred. I have had incredible women in my life. Incredible women, but not tell. incredible numbers of women. Well, I never kiss and tell. And uh, um, I have known a lot of women in my life, yes. A lot? Yes. <laughs> but is that like more than 100, more than 200? <laughs> Are we talking about a thousand? <laughs> uh, there has been... Um, I have no idea. But you must you have a girlfriend it. now? I don't have a girlfriend now. Ah, no, why because, not? Because I'm such a, a pirate, I'm such a traveler. And when I have a girlfriend, I love my girl so much that I'm, I devote a lot of attention and, I, you know, when I, I put you a lot of energy into it. And yeah. I can't be doing this and have no, my girl at the same true. time. I'm uh -huh. on the road all the time. And, um, and so, no, I don't. It's not fair. And I'm mm -hmm. sad and she's sad. How long have you been in Belgium? I've been here three days, four three days, days now. Did you seduce anyone yet? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I had a very interesting time last night. You read the book. <laughs> That's right. I, I watched this show. And <laughs> Do you know at first sight whether uh, a man is a good seducer or not? Yes. Yeah? Okay, we have two pictures here oh. um, of two men. Which one is the better seducer? <laughs> <laughs> well, the guy on the right, he's that guy. He's trouble. <laughs> he's trouble, yeah. He, you watch he, out for him. Huh. Trouble in what way? Look at his smile. <laughs> Look at the way he smiles and the way he, uh, you know... Seductive, he, you yes, would say? Yes, very, very yeah. much so, yeah. That's oh. me. <laughs> Long <And> time ago. <laughs> well, you haven't seen it when see he's really young. You see the twinkle in the eye and, you know... Yeah. Your, your course will be finished, I mean, your trainees will be finished off in 90 days. Yes, do, February uh, 7 is the last day that I yeah. come back here, yeah. Do Flemish women have to go into hiding by then? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I hope that when these guys go into the world, they, they, they are, they're more honest in their relationships, they're more honest in the way they, you know, about their intentions. And I think it's fantastic because these guys will go into the world and uh, they'll create experiences. They, they'll stop being takers. Men are takers. We want to take from women. We want to take all the time. Instead, you share experiences, which is incredible because we don't connect. You know, we have a hookup mm -hmm. culture. We, we get together for three to five years and we don't connect because we're not authentic. Let me just say that I wish you and your students a lot of luck. Thank you very much. Zen Perion.